Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the eyedropper tool. You can access it either from the toolbar panel or by pressing down the I key on your keyboard. Notice that your cursor changed to an empty eyedropper picker. If you double click on the eyedropper tool, the eyedropper window will open and here you can modify its settings. You can choose what the eyedropper should pick up and what it should apply. I'm going to leave it as it is. Here I have some vector objects and a photograph. Notice when I hover my eyedropper cursor over any object, it automatically highlights the object. When I move it over any text area, it highlights the text and at the same time a little T mark appears next to the cursor. Let's say we want to change the color of the first orange square. First, make sure your swatches window is open. If you can't see it, go to window and select swatches. Now pick up any color you like, get rid of the stroke and make sure the fill is on top. Before you click on the square to apply a new color, first press and hold down the ALT key. Notice that your cursor changed to a filled eyedropper and it is ready to apply the color that you have chosen. While you are still holding the ALT key, click on the square to apply the red color. Now release the ALT key. I will show you another way to sample a color. This method is very fast, but it only works if you sample a color from the swatches panel. To do that, click on a color of your choice, hold and drag. Now hover over a vector object and release your mouse to apply that color. The disadvantage of this method is that you can't use it on text, photographs or sampling a color from the color panel instead. To sample a color from the color panel, first single click on the color of your choice and then pressing down the ALT key, click on the object that you want to apply that color to. To apply color to text, first choose a color, then hover over your text now press the ALT key on your keyboard and click on the text. If I change the stroke to a different color, increase its weight and then click on the text while pressing down the ALT key, all the changes will be automatically applied. Let's change the stroke's color again and repeat the same process. Now if I click on the word tool to get a sample, then move over to the word eyedropper and click on it to apply it. The eyedropper will apply all the attributes at once, which in this case is the fill and the stroke. Let me show you another way to use the eyedropper tool. First, let's get rid of the stroke and make sure that the fill box is on top. Now click anywhere on the artboard, hold and drag. Notice that the cursor now has a little square mark next to it, indicating that the eyedropper is sampling colors from the screen. Watch what happens to the fill box when I drag the cursor across the screen. You can use the same method to sample any color from outside of Illustrator's window. Let's pick this dark grey color and apply it to the next square. And of course you can get a color sample from any vector object or from a photograph. Next I will show you how to use the eyedropper on gradients. First open the swatches panel and pick up any gradient that you like. Then press and hold down the ALT key and click on any object that you want to apply this gradient to. If you click on this gradient to get a sample and go over to another object to apply it, 
the eyedropper will apply the exact gradient. However, if you repeat the same process, but this time press and hold down the shift key as you get the sample, the eyedropper will pick only one color. Let's apply it to the small square, get another sample and apply it to the next square. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.